This is a quick video for System 1 practices in Northwest London ITB to show you how you can use System 1 to signpost or refer patients to Pharmacy First or Pharmacy Services. So hopefully you have Communication Annex on your toolbar. If not, please get that added um, as it will really help you. If we click on that and then if we click on Presets, you could search for Pharmacy by just typing in, in the search box Pharmacy. Um, and you can find lots of messages there. Otherwise, just scrolling down, you can find the pharmacy folder here as well. So first one that may be useful is if you wanted to signpost a patient to get a blood pressure check at a pharmacy. So if we click on that, um, it tells a patient you can, they can find a local pharmacy that offers free blood pressure checks using this link. And importantly, it tells them if they face any problems doing this, they can contact you back at the practice. Helpfully, with all these preset messages, it adds um, a SNOMED code into the patient's record that can be helpful. So let's look at any other preset messages. Again, if we search for pharmacy, you might want to signpost them to one of the clinical pathways. So let's imagine if they have a urine infection. And uh, again, it sends this message to the patient. Pharmacies may be able to offer treatment for women with urinary tract infections without you need to see a GP. For information, visit the NHS website about UTIs. If you encounter any issues, please contact us back. When the patient does look at that um, web page, it gives them general information about urinary tract infections, and it does mention about how they can find a pharmacy to assist. So that's how we can signpost patients using the communication annex and preset messages. Now, if we were looking to refer, um, if we type in the bottom pharmacy, you can start to see um, the Pharmacy First Pharmacy Services template that we've created. And if you click on that, it launches the template that way. I'm going to show you quickly how you can find that another way. If you go to Auto Consultation, if you drop down to Pharmacy Services, and click on Pharmacy First, Pharmacy Services Referral. That also launches that same template. So this first page of the template um, just helps you with general signposting. So it mentions again about Pharmacy First. There's a couple of options here. If you click on signposting or Pharmacy First, you can add that code into the patient's record. That could be useful. There is one big need. Um, there is definitely a need for more SNOMED codes that accurately code what we're doing but at the moment we're just using any codes that we've got available to us. If we look further down for the signpost and self-referral thing these are a list of different pharmacy first and pharmacy services so the clinical pathways which we mentioned um, if you click on any of those so for example if you wanted to do sore throat again it will load that preset message for the patient ready to send so it's really helpful just with one click to give you the best message to send them. Similar with the blood pressure check, contraceptive pill service, and then other pharmacy services like emergency contraception, new medicine service where they can get um, support and um, advice about new medicines they've started, flu vaccinations, just a general signpost into pharmacy services. Um, something you probably should hardly ever, um, if never use, um, emergency prescriptions. Hopefully us in general practice would always be able to issue a prescription if it needed at short notice, but this is an option to signpost them in a rare occasion where that just wasn't possible, perhaps when the practice was just about to close. Um, this is a way that they can sometimes get it from a pharmacy. And then um, still um, some patients are eligible for COVID um, lateral flow tests um, on the NHS and that directs them there. So this is a useful signposting. Now, if you want more information about Pharmacy First and who, which patients are appropriate for signposting, then um, there's useful information here, but also if you click on the guidance and results tab at the top, this is a guide for the seven clinical pathways and it tells you who's pretty suitable, include, you should include for signposting and who you should you know, think about that isn't suitable for those clinical pathways, who shouldn't be signposted or referred. And there's some, some other useful links at the bottom. But if we go back to the pharmacy services page, um, also at the bottom, there's a link to NHS Service Finder that can sometimes be useful to find contact details of pharmacies, particularly if maybe the patient's um, you know, um, working out of your local area and you're trying to work out where you can refer them or signpost them to. Um, or if you know if you had a patient uh, who's physically presented at the practice um, at reception and you again want to try and work out, the Service Finder um, link here might be useful for that. 
Okay, so that's generally about clinical pathways and signposting to different pharmacy services. But if we now tap on um, or click on the minor illnesses referral page, this is what you might have previously um, been familiar with as CPCS, the Community Pharmacy Consultation Service, which has now been incorporated to Pharmacy First as a minor illness referral. So these are a list of conditions that might be suitable for um, referral. And what's really important is you must make a referral for minor illness. Um, you can't just signpost them to this. You may feel there's a bit of overlap with these seven clinical pathways. Um, if the pharmacist thinks it's appropriate for the clinical pathways, they would manage it as a clinical pathway, but otherwise it falls under this minor illness referral. So what we can do is we can select um, one of the conditions, so maybe the patient's presenting with a cold. So we click on that and then we can click on um, OK. But before we do that, really importantly, if we look through this um, green list, it tells you, you know, what patients, what conditions are suitable for referral. And importantly, in the red list, you know, what sort of conditions, what aspects of the symptoms are unsuitable for referral. And, you know, as a general guide, you know, we must make sure that the patient is not seriously unwell. You know, generally that would be unsuitable for clinical um, um, assessment by a pharmacist. So just those sort of ABC emergency situations are not suitable, but it's worth being familiar with that list too. Um, for some cases, you know, also, um, you know, um, age or or um, pregnancy, other th factors can also mean that they're unsuitable. But anyway, um, if we've selected um, the conditional problem that the patient has and we click on OK, it launches um, sort of the um, a word referral form. And at this stage, we may want to pick the pharmacy that we're going to refer to. So if you click on address book, We've set up all the um, pharmacies in the local area um, in the ICB and um, to find them, if you just click on search. And um, so if we're in Elin, um, we can type in Elin Pharmacy. If you use the borough and the pharmacy name, hopefully you'll find a list. So um, this is a list of the pharmacies. It's got we've added all the NHS mail addresses. So um, that's helpful for you. So I'm just going to randomly select the first one that's coming up. If you get a chance um, on system one, it shows um, this that it says a hospital, maybe just change that to community. We're adding a, a SNOMED code and we still don't have an ideal SNOMED code for pharmacy first. Um, that might evolve um, after the time that you've seen this video. So at the moment it's using an old code of the same referral to CPCS. But now if we click on right now, it's loading the word referral form. And here's the referral form. Again, at the top, it's um, got that useful link for Nervous uh, NHS Service Finder. And if you need more information about Pharmacy First Services, there's some links in the referral form. And um, again, at the top, there's those useful signposting links, things that you've seen in the communication annex, um, preset meshes. If we go further down, we have that checklist again for the seven pathways, uh, seven clinical pathways, trying to show you what's what what's suitable for referral and what what symptoms or what things should exclude you referring that patient. If we go further down, um, it's pre-populated this referral form, so it's put in our the date, the patient's details. Um, you might want to check that the referral details are correct for you. Um, and it's got details about um, the condition. So in this case, we clicked um, cold already. So for the minor illness referral, so it's already added that in um, under the problem condition. There's also space here if you want to add any more information like um, um, not um, not seen pharmacists yet. You know, it could be something that you've had from the discussion you had with a um, patient that you want to just mention. And to help you still, this is a guide to that table of um, suitable or unsuitable um, conditions for referral for minor illnesses. So that's that helpful guidance too. And the last bit is really just a, an emergency section for pharmacists in case they weren't able to message you through other ways and they wanted to fill up something on this form to return back to you, but probably very unlikely to be used. 
Okay, so once we've done the referral, we just save as final version. And click yes. And if we go over the referral and um, click right click on it, click send via NHS mail, it asks you do you want to email the patient or contact from your address book, you would click on existing contact. And uh, it should already show Eden Pharmacy in your search um, from when we did that last time. So if we just click on search. And I'm just going to again click randomly on that first one. And I'm going to it's asking are you sure you want to send this letter to this pharmacy and it shows the email address i've redacted it for the purpose of this video so we click on yes and anything you want to type in the email i'm going to say um test pharmacy first referral please ignore and we're going to click on okay and that is it when you close that patient the referral will be sent and that's what that box is telling you the letter will be sent after the patient is um, saved the record is saved so we click on ok and we save the record and that will send off the referral so i hope this video has given you a bit of a guide to how you can sign post and refer within system one um, things are going to change. Um, this solution, some of the things that you see maybe look a bit different when you use it because it may be tweaked and evolve over time. And, uh, and the hope is that this is a short term measure. Some additional functionality is likely to arrive in System 1 in the future, which will mean that we can make referrals to pharmacy in a far better way than this process that I've shown you today. OK, thank you so much for your time.